made another food cake. Wait, cake is food, so all my cakes are food cakes. Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I have somehow made a professional career out of making cakes that don't look like cakes. Professional. And today I'm going to show you how I made a hyper-realistic cake of a peeled banana. Whenever I make a cake of an object, I try to get my hands on that actual object rather than just searching for reference pictures online. You think you know what a banana looks like until you go to sculpt one. I've made a banana cake before, but never a peeled banana cake. And there are two very different textures happening here. There's the texture of the actual banana and that super smooth banana peel. All right, let's do this. Let's go. I start by making a banana stencil that I will use to carve my cake layers. This cake is all about getting my proportions correct. A cake is only hyper-realistic when it's the exact size of the real object. So the stencil's really gonna help me out here. In my eyes, the banana cake requires chocolate cake. The color of the vanilla cake is super close to the banana color. So if I use vanilla cake, then when I go to cut it, people may not realize it's a cake. They might just think they're seeing banana inside, and that would be devastating. All this hard work and I don't trick anyone into thinking it's a real banana? That's like my worst nightmare. Now cutting into a banana that is brown and green on the inside, no problem. People are gonna know something's up. I'm gonna get a double take. They may think that the chocolate cake is just an insanely rotten banana, but at least I'll have their attention. This is where the green comes in. I fill almost all my cakes with green buttercream. It's my Side Surf Cake Studio trademark. Sometimes I flavor it, and sometimes I use different styles of buttercream, like American buttercream or Swiss buttercream or cream cheese buttercream. They all taste different, but they look the same. Green. Time to bust out mini spatula. I'm giving the cake a crumb coat, which means I cover it in a thin layer of buttercream. This crumb coat will give me a nice smooth surface to place my modeling chocolate over. But first, this cake needs to chill in the fridge so that that buttercream is nice and firm. Check out this mug. This is a Side Surf Cake Studio mug. You can get one too at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. And if you're left-handed, images on both sides and get your own. Here I have two chunks of ivory modeling chocolate. I'll keep one ivory and color the other yellow. Magic. I've got a nonstick mat and I'm sprinkling cornstarch onto it to make it even more nonstick. <laughs> and I'm rolling out the ivory modeling chocolate. What better way to make banana texture than with a banana peel? I had no idea how I was going to create this texture and I thought to myself, what if I just smash this peel right into my modeling chocolate? It worked. It's a little hard to see since banana texture is so subtle, but it definitely did the job. I did not think that's how this was gonna go down. But hey, it's easy and it's effective, and you've gotta come up with some easy and effective tricks when you're working with cake. So now I just drape that chocolate over the cake, work the chocolate around it, and hand sculpt some texture to refine it a bit. Let's work on the peel. The banana peel is yellow on the outside and ivory on the inside, so I'm rolling out both colors and layering the modeling chocolate. When I was young, I was told a banana joke. And to this day, I still say it in my head every time I see a banana. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana. Does that even sound like the song? I didn't want to tell that joke earlier because I didn't want to scare off any new people to the channel with the, that stupid joke. <laughs> but if you're still watching, you're not gonna leave now. Probably, probably won't. Now I'll just trim the chocolate into the shape of banana peel sections. I'm laying the chocolate onto the cake yellow side out. Each of my peel sections is a little different than the others. And I like that. It gives this still banana a little movement. Now that I have my banana and the peel on, I'm realizing that the banana is really, really big. It's too big. I'm typically such a stickler for proportions on realistic cakes, and I just didn't carve this cake down enough. It's a beast. It's not ideal, but I'm way too far along now to go back. I'm just gonna have to move on. I'm adding more texture with sculpting tools. Looks like we got a little banana residue on the chocolate from when I used the actual peel for the texture. Yeah, I guess I'm all right with that. I mean, banana is food. It's used in desserts. You ever heard of a banana split? Bananas foster? 
I almost forgot the banana handle. I'm sculpting the banana handle out of modeling chocolate scraps that I trimmed away earlier. The banana handle is the word that my husband came up with for the stem. I'm gonna keep it simple. A little texture on the end, shape it a bit, and then attach it to the cake. I'm even gonna add a little stringy bit. When I peel a banana for eating, I've always hated that stringy bit. But on a realistic cake, I actually think it's going to help make it look even more realistic. Time to paint. This is a limited color palette. It's just shades of brown and black with a little green. I'm going for it with this banana. This banana is gonna have a lot of bruising. I'm adding some soft bruising and some darker brown lines, some speckles, some splotches, and around the edges of the peels, we've got some browning. This banana's bruised. He's had a hard life. I figure why make a cake of a perfect banana when I can make one that's more interesting and slightly past its prime. I like an overripe banana. It's more fun to make than a regular ripe banana. It has character. It's one of a kind. It's imperfect. And there you have it, a cake of a peeled banana. I know this banana is chonky, but I still like it. Now let's cut the cake. Oh yeah, look at that chocolate inside. Good choice, good choice. It's a very odd color for a banana. Just how I like it. If you like this video, let me know by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel right now because I post a brand new realistic cake every Monday.